Hello everyone, um, welcome to my video on five steps to start with data science. Okay, step number one, start learning a coding language such as Python or R. Step number two, learn about machine learning. It's very broad and you need to focus at one part of machine learning at a time. Step number three, learn about applied statistics or refresh your knowledge on applied statistics. Step number four, learn more about data visualization and how to create graphs and interesting plots that can communicate information. Step number five, data analytics and learn learning about elements of data analytics. Okay, coding. You can do Python or R. If you want to do R, you should use RStudio. I strongly suggest that you use Python and learn and focus on Python. For Python, you can use Google Colab and use Jupyter Notebook, which is very, uh, very nice way to communicate your um, uh, project and the steps you have taken to solve a business problem. You can use other IDEs such as Spider, Anaconda, uh, and PyCharm. Machine learning. Machine learning is very broad. You can focus on regression to get started with machine learning. You can use scikit-learn, which is a very strong machine learning library in Python. There are other algorithms such as a classification, rec recommender systems, reinforcement learning, and unsupervised learning. But regression and classification are the easiest to learn and getting started with. The machine learning is very broad and there are um, deep learning models uh, which are um, the advanced neural networks but you do not need to focus on deep learning uh, to get it started uh, as a data scientist or machine learning engineer the only book that you would need for essential machine learning algorithms and uh, concepts is the elements of statistical learning by hasty tip shirani and friedman if you want to do more on deep learning or other algorithms, you may need to use other books that are available out there. Apply the statistics. Something that many people miss out when they want to become a data scientist is applied statistics, which can be as simple as starting with the mean and the variance of a population um, or a sample, uh, but it can have some more complex uh, concepts such as hypothesis testing and how to find the optimal number of um, records that you need to measure uh, some statistics of the uh, population. So you can use some of the applied statistics books to familiarize yourself with the concepts. Data visualization. If you use coding, you can use libraries such as Matplotlib and Seaborn and you can also use tools that do not require any coding such as tableau or power bi but data visualization is a must in data science data analytics typically they divide data analytics into four categories descriptive diagnostic predictive and prescriptive start with descriptive analytics and uh, that's about communicating the information in the data with other people making really interesting graphs and plots that show um, uh, some insight. Diagnostic is going to be more advanced, is about why did something happen, like, a, like an anomaly that has happened in the data. Uh, predictive analytics, which is much broader than just machine learning, it, it involves various ways to, uh, to build predictive models. And prescriptive is about recommending decision parameters, which is more advanced and it requires optimization on top of predictive analytics. The Python libraries that you need to learn to get started are as follows. NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and Seaborn, and Scikit-Learn. Uh, I would also add a stats model in this list um, that uh, concerns uh, time series data in um, Python. And then doing a mini data science project is going to help you master all these concepts in uh, and and do a do a project that improves your confidence you can download some data from uci machine learning repository which um, has lots of interesting data sets or you can use openml which is more recent uh, platform 
that contains thousands of data sets. And to end this video, I would like to mention that data science is uh, very broad and you may want to advance in various uh, directions depending on where you would go. Um, you can focus on database management, cloud systems such as AWS, uh, Amazon, um, AWS, um, Microsoft Azure, or, or um, Google Cloud Platform, or you can advance yourself in, in machine learning um, uh, such as deep learning, computer vision, NLP, etc., etc. Okay, good luck getting started with data science.